what i'm share is unfortunately not there in any book but what i'm sharing with you here is real clinical clinical things when a child comes inside what to observe and i want to tell you why i decide this topic because in children's case it's all about the observation of the homeopath you cannot depend so much on the history given by the child's mother or the father totally because many of these observations of the mother or the father are coming from their perceptions about him which may or may not be totally right they will be right 90% 80% 70% but we also have to develop our own clinical observation of the child and these are solid data something that you and me both have to agree let's go ahead i'm going to i'm going to take you from hair to foot nail what all things i observe from the clinics and what are the important remedies in each of them that also i'm sharing with you after today's presentation i will tell you in 50% of cases just by observation you will be able to get clinical hints this is real classical homeopathy eyes very important it's in the eyes almost everything is in the eyes hmm? a lot in the eyes when you look at the eyes of the child you will know a lot about him or her the phosphorus child will be very watchful constantly looking at the doctor like this just looking at what is next what is next what is next the child you look at ambra grisia child like this and ambra grisia just the eyes many many children we have remedies and i'm treating many cases of squint strabismus so there is we have remedies for convergent strabismus convergent and we have remedies for divergent strabismus or squint very often these squint will be due to history of too much of worms very often the remedy is spigelia and santonym in these type of cases pupils some children's pupils are very dilated maybe due to too much of fear you can see here remedies like solanaceae belladonna remedies like calcarea salts you will often see because they are frightened children and and they cannot tell what fear they have so sometimes this fear is 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 by by the pupils you know a great homeopath dr p r schmidt from geneva one of my favorite cities in the world wrote a book art of case taking art of interrogation and he wrote that in his case taking he found out very often patients may not tell the truth so he actually used an ophthalmoscope he actually used a kind of he used to see the iris and the pupils of the children and the adults to know and observe the pupils and the iris this is written by his known as the descendant of kent lane gentleman pierre schmidt some children they get up and they are constantly rubbing like that the with the wrist squilla squilla the squilla child will come in your clinic and constantly rub like this squilla you can see eyes boring with fists in the child if a child comes in your clinic and for almost 10 or 15 minutes constantly is rubbing like this the first remedy that comes to your mind should be squilla everything i tell you is with solid clinical data total clinical material medical in general many children in today's time i want to tell you around 20 30% children i am treating many of them 
many developmental delay children many children with low immune system many carcinogen children rick and i have observed them they have a bluish sclera have a look blue sclera in children carcinogenum very important remedy here i told you the eyes brain general sometimes you will go to see a baby and they will be staring like this you see the baby and baby belladonna babies are always staring but a baby may have lot of watering of eyes and you will think why is there watering of eyes and then the pediatrician will tell you oh there is a lacrimal duct stenosis which means there is a lacrimal duct here here okay and there is a kind of a stenosis there okay there is some some kind of an issue there there is a thickening sometimes there can be a lacrimal duct fistula in entire home homeopathy the biggest for lacrimal duct stenosis because of which there is watering in a child in a baby is natrum muriaticum remember this remedy can beautifully help the child sometimes you go to see a child and the eyes are half open belladonna there are many remedies in eyes half open okay there is lycopodium there is opium but in typically in children this is a key note of belladonna some children very interestingly you see the eyebrows but some children they the eyebrows you know they are connected there is there is hair in between the eyebrows like this here it's 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 what what we call as a knit knit eyebrows which means it's like a one line from here to here medorhinum remember this is a typical indication of medorhinum this is a miasmatic indicator of medorhinum so hello and namaste um i want to invite all of you for our homeopathic pediatric online certificate course it has just started an introductory lecture has just uh, got over we just did it but you all can still join it's a 60 hour online course certificate course you will get an access for one year you can watch the recordings again and again and there are some really remarkable speakers in in our course uh, including uh dr vijay vaishnav dr mayuresh mahajan dr lm khan dr praveen jain some really phenomenal uh, teachers and all talking about pediatrics and talking about different different topics in pediatrics the case taking the behavior the developmental delay the allergy the homeo prophylaxis the autism the adhd everything together it's 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 a one of its kind kind of course and um, i genuinely do believe that um, we are putting a lot of our energies in this course because this is one of its kind we genuinely want to do something by which we can upgrade the education and also our own selves so i hope that you all can still join you can write to us you have all the details there is still a discount offer for next few days write to us be a part of us i hope you liked the lecture before and i hope you like keep liking it again thank you mm -hmm.